I had just gotten back from Hawaii. Girls trip. I went to the gym, got off the treadmill. My legs were doing the throbbing thing and I felt, you know, my leg and I felt a lump in there. I had a feeling about it. It's, it doesn't matter how old I am, that's not supposed to be there. I went and found an oncologist. I could tell by the look on his face that it wasn't supposed to be there. So at 22 years old, the first surgery I'd ever had, I woke up and my father was in the room next to me and he said, and I'll never forget, it's cancer. At 22 years old, I didn't know enough about it, but I knew that's not a good thing. <laughs> well, what do I do now? In, in a rush of tr who, who do we go? I mean, who's the best? Everyone wants the best. And we got in touch with Dr. Sender at UCI Health. I liked Cindy's attitude. And she went on the positive. She said, are there survivors? Yes. Well, then I'm, I'm going to be one of them. And, and that seemed to be her attitude. How, how do I live my life? What do I need to go through? How am I doing the right thing? Do I, do I know my stuff? They said that it was stage 3B melanoma. It was very well explained. And Dr. Sender was easy to talk to. and made me feel comfortable. I left there not feeling like I wasn't gonna survive this. I can do this. We can do this. <laughs> she took it in her stride. She was like, okay, tell me what I need to do. This is an irritation in my life, but I wanna do it and get on. I have things to do, places to go, people to meet, a life to lead. When I would go to UC Irvine Health, it felt like my home away from home, and it becomes your home away from home because that's where you're getting all your treatment. So it needs, it's important to choose people that are gonna treat you like family at UC Irvine Health. You're not a statistic, you're not a number, you're a human being, whether you're a young adult or an older adult or a child. They're always gonna be a part of your life. They're part of the reason why you're here. When you have a tumor and you have it removed, they usually do what's called a lymph node dissection. Because of having a lymph node dissection, which saves your life, and it leaves you with other conditions, one being lymphedema. And I have lived with lymphedema for 10 years, and I've learned how to manage it very well. Dr. Sender and UC Van Health was so supportive of my positive attitude, supportive of everything that you're going to go through after the diagnosis and making your mindset comfortable knowing that you're going to be coming here for a long time and you're going to be taken care of. He's almost like your cheerleader. There's one question we always ask on any new visit is to stop and say to the patient, who are you? Not what your disease is. We already got that. I have pieces of paper and I have pathology reports and I have x-ray reports and scan reports. We want to know the person. What what do they want to become? What do they want to do with their life? And then we tell them one day when they cured, go on and do the things you really want to do. Make, make your life meaningful by, by taking advantage. And sometimes when you do that, the experience of cancer can be horrible, or the experience of cancer can be life affirming. When you look at Cindy, I think she's an example of life affirming. I definitely appreciate the small things now, the little things that um, I love hanging out with my family, my fans, as I say, my number one fans. Going to hockey games and, you know, hanging out with my fiance, being newly engaged is very special to me that, you know, I have that support whether I need it or not forever. At 22, I was always thinking about how am I going to help people in my life? Am I going to make a difference? And 10 years later, I'm a survivor and I'm helping other people who are also survivors and in this similar situation that I was in, people tell me that I am inspiring and to me, my doctors are inspiring. So I, it makes me feel really good when I know that I can help other people. There's nothing more rewarding than turning an adversity into something positive. <laughs>